Uh, I'm Arv Sharma. And I'm a senior. And I'm Francine Flores, and I'm also a senior. And do you think it's important for students to stay politically active, even though most of us can't vote? But, yeah. oh, I mean, honestly, I personally think that everybody should always stay politically active, even if, like, you're not able to vote. Because just because you're not able to vote now, that doesn't mean you won't be able to vote in the future. And I think if you're going to look, live in this political system, then I feel like you should try and be up to date with it because this is the life that you'll be living. And these are the systems that are gonna be enacted when you're older. Uh, in addition, I think it's important for uh, all people to know what's going on in their government. That's a great thing to do, you know? That's part of your civic right and duty and obligation. Um, as Matthew is saying, I'm in 11th grade. And do you think it's important for students to stay politically aware even though a lot of them can't vote? Um, personally, I think no, because we're so much more younger now, like later on, there's no point of worrying about it. Like once you get older, of course, you know, you're going to want to vote, so like, that's your problem later on. But politics, it's become a lot more stressful, and there's a lot of like, hatred and violence when it comes to politics. There's no reason to get involved with that so early on. That's it. Mr. Fleming, I teach AP U.S. History and AP Macroeconomics. And do you think that it's important for students to stay politically active and aware, even though most of them can't vote? I do. They're going to have to vote soon. And even then, there are decisions being made that affect you right now already. And so it's really important to understand those decisions and, and be as involved as possible. And do you think that there are any ways that students can influence their government or community without voting? Yeah, so one, there's, there's tons of ways, right? You can have your voice heard even without voting. So you can, there's no age restrictions on going to protests or boycotts or even just writing in editorials to papers. You can volunteer with political organizations. You can volunteer with local governments and state governments. There's all kinds of ways to influence things. And, and I think you'll see, you, you can find countless examples of students who have changed policy without even being able to vote. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mulady. I'm the IB coordinator and I teach two of our uh, tech classes here. And do you think it's important for students to say politically aware and active even though most of them can't vote? Sure, I think eventually you're all going to be able to vote. So knowing what's happening now helps you become informed and maybe you can't vote, but that doesn't mean that you can't participate in other civic activities. Thank you. My name is Brian Bazell and I'm in 12th grade. And do you think it's important for us students to stay politically active and involved even though most of us can't vote? Yes, I think that's very important as most of us uh, even though we can't vote in the future, some of us will be making these policies and I think it's very important uh, just to our nation and to ourselves that we need to educate ourselves in this process and we need to be aware of the political scene so that when we're older and we are making these policies that we do it knowledgeably and we do it in a way that promotes our well-being. Um, and I think that for those who are planning to just ignore the political scene and they don't have any idea of our world and what's happening around us and our country. I think that's probably one of the worst things you could do as a citizen. I think that those who are not prepared to vote in the future and those who are not knowledgeable of these topics uh, really set themselves behind others who are aware because in the end, those who are aware will rise and those who are not aware will just stay stagnant. And I think that's really important to our community and our nation. Thank you.